Hey Beam Tribe, it's Clayton from Pittsburgh and we're gonna go over ankle cars, okay? So for the setup, leg can be long or bent and we're gonna take both hands and we're gonna pincer the knee here, okay? So I want you to feel for that tibia. Now we're gonna try, we're in knee cars, we were trying to get rotation. Now we're trying to get zero rotation here. If you start to feel rotation in the knee as you're going through your ankle cars, I want you to pause wherever you are in your circle Try and keep that isolated and then try and continue from the ankle, okay? So we got that locked in. We'll start with the toes pointed and come to the big toe side. Pulling the toes up. Coming to the outside, drive the big toe down. Pointing the toes. We'll go two times each direction, going nice and slow. The body loves to disguise what it can and can't do in terms of range of motion with speed. So the slower we go, the more bang for your buck you're gonna get. And pull up, switch directions. Pinky side, pulling up. These can be a lot harder than they look. Good, and switch. Again, hands on the outside, locking the knee in place. And again, this is important because you're taking your ankle through its full range of motion, exposing it to every position it could experience and um, really preparing it for dealing with load and forces in that position. So point the toes, big toe side, pull the toes up towards the shin, carry that circle out. Again, trying to keep the knee from rotating, making the biggest circle you can. and switch directions. Good, ankle cars.